change the exposure on this shot but we are on the lake celebrating 4th of July however the main reason I must uh, discuss or make a quick video and turn off the music and make everyone outside hella bored for about five to ten minutes is because I am going to do an unboxing for you guys today we are going to be discussing the fear of God fans alternatives well I really just entered darkness uh, anyways um, I'm not quite used to this location so I'm not sure how the lighting is gonna be but uh, I apologize to everyone that was listening to this music. Okay, I'm just gonna close this because it's gonna be really awkward doing this unboxing with that open. Then I'm going to set this down, maybe on the table right here. This might actually work out perfectly. I don't know how the lighting is, so um, let's actually switch to the 35 millimeter 1.4. Anyways, guys, I apologize if there's any uh, infiltrating audio. Uh, we have people walking in and out of the house. I also apologize if this beer is in frame. Do not drink, kids. I also apologize for this guy, Vape Nace, y'all. Vape Nace, y'all. GordonGaines.com. GordonGaines.com. Smash that like button for GordonGaines.com. Uh, seriously, smash that like button. That wasn't a joke. You already know, even on vacation, I'm bringing clothes to unbox for you guys, you know what I'm saying? This is what I do. Now when I actually saw these, I really don't know how I'm gonna fit these into my rotation. I don't think they're gonna have resale, but I thought I'd make for a good video because I know that shoes that are very similar to these are quite hyped, and I do think these shoes are extremely dope. That being said, these will probably be for my personal because I do not believe these have resale value whatsoever. So if you wanna see how I style them, or if you guys wanna see some fits that I put together with these bands, of course, follow me on Instagram, that'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description below. So let's crack right into it. As you guys may know, the new Fear of God shoes have leaked and they are coming out very soon. I don't think it's actually technically considered a leak because I think Jerry Lorenzo actually tweeted them out. But I think there are leaks of other similar Fear of God shoes. But you don't even need to waste your money or wait in line for two days to get hoed because you already know the PAX Online is going to be ridiculous. So instead of waiting in line, you could literally just buy these right now. Which I, they may be sold out on PAX Sun, but they do have them on Vans.com where I purchased them. But as you can see, you have this all over white Vans Authentic. Now the thing with this shoe is I like this shoe a lot more than the Fear of God Vans for several reasons. The one big thing is that this is actually an authentic. So if you look right there, it's a little bit thinner on the back. It's not an arrow like the Fear of God Vans. And on top of that, I like the font used on this more. It's an old English font. As you guys know, I love old English font and I use it quite often in a lot of things. Even my outro uses Old English. The Fear of God Vans, they're definitely cool and you can definitely tell that these uh, have some Fear of God Vans inspo. But it's not like that Fear of God all over print design is extremely original or anything like that. So to call it like a knockoff and act as if the Fear of God Vans were so original in the first place is kind of ridiculous. This released in a pack and it was actually a pretty dope pack. Like it released this shoe. They released a, I think an all white upper with a black midsole. And they also released an old school that looks super dope. So if you prefer old schools over authentics, you can get that. But that shoe, it just has the all over print in the like middle panel of the shoe. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, where that little stripe is. Hey, uh, Gord, Gord, take your shoes off. Come on, come on. Whoa. <laughs> he hit the chandelier. But anyways, so if you're looking at this shoe right here, this little middle segment right here has the like the off the wall print all over pattern 
on this shoe. And I actually think it's pretty dope because it's all black. It looks super clean and it's just a really dope shoe. For me personally, if it was for my personal collection and I wasn't going to make a video on it, I would have actually preferred the old schools, but that's just my personal opinion. Here you go, Gordon. You can put your shoe back on. GordonGames.com. I just don't know exactly how I'm going to rock it yet. So if you guys want to see with me, like I said earlier, of course, go make sure you follow me on Instagram. My Instagram will be down in the description and it will be somewhere on the screen, of course. Also in the comments below, please give me your thoughts. Are you really? Really, you just, they can't even see me. Like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by this mystic witch smoke that smells like apple juice. Anyways, let me know in the comments below whether you are fucking with these or not, whether you like the Fear of God ones or these better. Uh, if I can find links to them, I will leave some links as to where you can purchase these in the description below as well. Hopefully they're not sold out. Yeah, I mean, this is a, like a really cheap alternative to that shoe and it looks good, it's a clean shoe and on top of that it's better because it's an authentic. So if I can't find any links, of course, I will leave them down in the description below. Also, I have another shoe, another Vans unboxing that is extremely dope. So if you would like to see that, definitely, definitely make sure you hit that like button down below. Smash that like button! Honestly, it's one of the dopest Vans releases of this year. I think this is one of the dopest Vans releases of this year too though. This whole collection was dope. Like I said, those ones with that black midsole and the white do it. Look like I'm left off and bush. But yes, like I said, if you would like to see that other dope Vans pickup that I got, smash that like button down below. Also, if you'd like to see a sneaker collection video, smash that like button. I already shot it and sadly, the video footage has been deleted. So Joshua Means, my dear friend who helped me shoot that, if you are watching this, I apologize because um, the fact is, we will have to shoot that video again and you don't even know until you're gonna watch this video and then you will know. Anyways guys, let's get into this little 4th of July celebration.
right, YouTube, I am home. The weekend is over. I actually got home last night, but I just want to say I hope all you guys had an amazing fourth. I'm so tired. I have so much stuff to do before I fly to Sneaker Con Dallas tomorrow. I may post a video tomorrow, actually, still. I don't know yet. Even though there was alcohol in this vlog, I did not get drunk. I had one jello shot, but I don't really drink like that. Like, I don't know. I used to be a drinker, and now I, it just doesn't really appeal to me. So I'm just, you know, sober squad. But anyways, it doesn't matter. You don't need to get up to have fun i had a great weekend and like i said i hope all you guys had an amazing weekend as well i'm gonna upload this video and i will see you guys very soon i don't know when i'm gonna start the next vlog but hopefully it'll start tomorrow when i leave for sneaker con dallas all right later